It's common to want modifiers that apply only when a certain condition is met. And in SwiftUI, the easiest way to do that is with a ternary operator. As a reminder, to use a ternary operator, you write your condition first, then a question mark and what should be used if the condition is true, then a colon followed by what should be used if the condition is false. For example, we can have a property that could be either true or false, and you could use that to control the foreground color of a button, like this. At state, private var, use red text equals false. Button, hello world. And self, dot use red text, dot toggle, which flips the boolean between true and false. And then dot foreground color, use red text, question mark, dot red, colon, dot blue. So when use red text is true, the modifier effectively reads dot foreground color dot red. And when it's false, the modifier becomes dot foreground color dot blue. Because SwiftUI watches for changes in our at state properties and re-invokes our body property, whenever that property changes, the color will immediately update. You can sometimes use regular if conditions to return different views based on some state, but this is only possible in a handful of cases. For example, this kind of code isn't allowed if self.useRedText, return text, hello world. Else, return text, hello world, dot background, color dot red. Remember, some view means one specific type of view will be returned, but we don't want to say what. Because of the way SwiftUI creates new views using generic modified content wrappers, text and text.background, color dot red, are different underlying types, and that is not compatible with some view.